<clears throat> All right, I got some gear to sell. So close to leveling. More Chrono Trigger and Xeno Gears, huh? Both are fantastic games. Very good games. Very, very good. Okay, what am I doing? Let's get this guy out. Killed a pirate under his own ship. Yes, they do have amazing soundtracks. Done songs from both games. I've said before that in any of those amazing, any amazing game that has an amazing soundtrack, I could probably just continue doing songs from like that one game and not get bored. But um, I chose not to do that. I chose to mix it up on purpose. Cause yeah, I could like probably stick with like Chrono Trigger and just do Chrono Trigger songs for a long time. Or Ocarina of Time, or Xenogears, or Xenoblade, or Final Fantasy VI, VII. I mean, any, I, I could name so many games that I could just like keep doing songs from and not get bored. Okay, how... That's how we get into ship, okay. When I came down here last time, I glided from that mountain to the top, so I kind of did it backwards. Crap. Why do I... Okay, I'm getting used to this again. It's been a few days, guys. I apologize for the rough start. How are you guys doing? The whole Mega Man X soundtrack? My mouth. Yeah, that's another good one. That's a short one, too. How's it going, Odin Edits? I remember your name. I'm streaming when you are, huh? Phoenix Wright? Yeah, yeah. I, I, could, I could do some more Phoenix Wright stuff. Okay, what am I doing? Killing pirates. You respond really fast. I'm going to kill you. You have to resub. Oh, that yeah, I I did I stopped streaming for uh, for a bit. For, a month, for months back then, when I was, I moved and did all sorts of stuff. It's party invite. You wanna party up, dude? Does he wanna party? Dante Flame? I don't care. If he does or not. I just thought I'd offer. Okay, we got a relic. Now we gotta go kill the, um... Oops, did not mean to do that. So now we gotta go kill the pirate captain, who I've already killed, but I didn't have the quest before. Does he not want to party?
Nope, he doesn't want to party. Well, I'm just going to follow him because he's a melee bro and I'm a range bro. Go ahead, dude. Kill something. I'll kill something too. How's the game volume? Is it too loud? Too soft? First mate, Lamelda. Let's kill first mate Lamelda. First mate Lamelda's got some uh, HP. Crap, did you really respawn that fast? This is not good. She got a Kaim in circles. Use a potion or two. Don't have my potions bound. Probably should have. Oh, come on, really? This is like the most dangerous place I've been in so far. Okay, it's just a single mob. Come on, come on, come on, just die. Fine. Respawn at the temple, wherever that is. So, when I logged off last time, I had either just died or was about to die. So this place is not easy. Too close quarter. There we go. So it's it's too close quarters for uh, a, a range class. Way too close. So game audio could be a little bit louder. You said. The game. Uh, I just I, I haven't played it in a few days. Kind of want to get back into it. I I logged out under this huge pirate ship. And I'm trying to complete these quests that I started before. But I'm having a few issues because of the how, how close quarters this place is. It's extremely well, it's just it's just, it's not friendly <laughs> for a ranged class. Which I've encountered things like this before. Long time lurker, huh? I see, I see some quest items up there. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, there were several quests over here. If I could just get up and kill that pirate captain, that's the hardest quest. Yeah, this game is in closed alpha unless you, you're, a, you're a supporter. It'll be in beta in the next few months, and then, you know, probably by September, October... It'll uh, come out, and it will be free to play. Unless you want to sub, and then you get the full game. This game is free to play in Korea right now. Full game is out. Unfortunately, they have a bit of a pay-to-win setup over there. Because Korea is set up to... Well, Korea likes pay-to-win games. Unfortunately. But uh, here in the West, we are going to have uh, a different system. Where it's not going to be pay to win. It'll be more like sub to get the full game. And you can play the game for free but not have all the features. Which I'm fine with. So if I don't feel like you know playing the full game, it won't cost you, any it won't cost you anything. You don't want to feel like playing the full game. 
Got some new gauntlets, and they're not as good because they're greys, and I'm wearing blues. Okay, this is the hard part here. Okay. There's a medic. Cannier. We're going to have to kill this one. We'll play like a melee class and so just stand here. Take it. Really don't need to kill these medics because they're not like hostile unless you attack them. Okay, so I have. What have I done? I need to enchant a few things here. I haven't enchanted my helm. I guess we'll use this and enchant it. Yep, this game is coming out this year. Sometime. Over uh, uh, regening health. I'm just gonna enchant some stuff. What do they have set in place in Korea? I don't know what you mean by that. I really don't understand. Okay, here's the captain. Luckily, there's a nice big kiting area. Okay, so I'm gonna back. This guy charges, <laughs> from what I remember. So I should probably have my back toward the wall over here before I engage him. And he took a little bit to kill. Let's do this. So I'm gonna have to trap him. Oh yeah, he casts charge bolt. This guy. You have to, like, dodge his charged bolt. Because it will knock you off. Like that, right there. I'm doing better this time than I did back when I encountered him a few days ago. I was not prepared for his charged bolt. Yes! And we're overachieving a bit. And you can't loot him. Oh well. You talking about like Korea? Yeah, basically... Korea, for whatever reason, has kind of taken to the, um, the pay-to-win games. They really like... Or they've done really well over there for whatever reason. Unfortunately. So like, Korea really likes it whenever you have a game and you're like, Hey, if you pay an extra $10, you'll get... Extra loot and extra bonuses and all that kind of stuff. And um, Americans hasn't really th th those type of games haven't really taken off here, and I'm glad because those type of games is literally it's like Candy Crush crap. And yeah, I'm not into that. A lot, of, and luckily a lot of people over here aren't comparatively to like Korea. Oh, I need to regen some health. Where's my bro? There he is. Okay, now I need to get out of here. I think I've done all the quests here. Yeah, no, no more showing up for me. That's good. Okay, I'm going to trap this guy. Go ahead and kill him. Yeah, for those of you who haven't seen this game, this game, um, the reason I'm playing it is because this is probably the most different MMO that I've played uh, in a long, long, long time. I wonder if they'll allow me to get some extra progress on this. Uh, if you haven't seen, like, it was this quest I'm on, it says kill 15 pirates. I've killed 18, and it's actually allowing me to overachieve, which is another cool thing about it. So, like, I can kill more pirates than it says, and I'll get bonus experience. And most, most quests in this game are set up like this. You can't believe how much money some people are happy to spend on these games. Yeah, unfortunately, that's the whole pay-to-win thing. Like, whenever you have a game that that is set up to, like, have microtransactions. 
and free-to-play games always have microtransactions. And I think there's a right and a wrong way to do microtransactions. This game, uh, from everything that I've heard, the company that's uh, localizing it for us, they're going to be doing it the right way. And then you have games like... Well... You have, you have some games that don't do it right at all. You have games that set up a pay-to-win model where, like, you can literally buy, like, 24-hour double experience bonuses and stuff. Which, yeah. That's not attractive to me. At all. Yeah, they are, they are starting to become a little bit more common because uh, there are a lot of people out there who will, you know, break out their credit card and pay for it. And I, I think that kind of sucks. That's why you have games that are being sold even on consoles now. Where you buy the game for 60 bucks and then all of a sudden you realize, oh, well, there's a big microtransaction shop that'll pay $5 and get this bonus, pay $10 and get this bonus, pay $50 and get this awesome thing. And it's like, okay, so you buy the game for 60 bucks. But then, like, if you want to get all the stuff in the game, you have to break out your credit card and spend, you know, another hundred dollars? I mean, I don't know. There, there are so many people out there that are criticizing it, and I'm one of them. I just, I don't understand it. Hmm. How do I get back to the... Quest area. I may have to take my glider up these mountains again. Come on, dude. Climb. Climb. You can do it. Some more pirates up here. I think I've done all these quests already. Yep, I've done all these quests. That's good. What are you doing up there, man? Embrace your inner Skyrim horse? Yes. This is where I have to go. I really need to get a good glider. Alright, let's see if we can pull this off. Please? Nope. Oh, we survived? It's because I'm a tiger. Okay, so I made a cat class. And they can take a lot more fall damage. <laughs> and I just fell from an insane height and survived because of my race. That rules. Yeah, this, this uh, game piqued my interest as well when I heard about it. I was very, like, ready for a game like this to be announced or come out or whatever. And uh, that's why I'm playing it. That's why I went ahead and became a supporter. I was just like, man, I've been waiting for a game that is this different. That is that different from WoW and all these other games that are out. Experience points. Oh, now what? We have to take out Cannon Officer Wild. Looks like a few of us want to go up here. Uh, 
Gliders improve like for speed, uh, gliding distance. You're able to attack from some gliders. And uh, yes, a few other things. Like cooldowns even. I'm not sure if we get we get credit for helping him. No, we didn't get credit for that. System requirements for this? I don't know. I have a three-year-old graphics card. And uh, I'm able to run the game on high. So if that tells you anything. My computer's newer than the graphics card, but the uh, but yeah, I mean for a game like this, graphics matter quite a bit. Got to wait for this guy to respawn. We got, a, we got an item that began a, qu a quest. Our dude respawned. Is he going to attack that again? Or is that a different guy? Dude, come on. Party with me. Here we go. Party invite, please. You cannot invite. Oh. One thing I, I wish they would implement is um, the ability to tag a quest mob, do a percentage of damage to it, and then like still be able to like get, you know get the quest done. Yeah, no credit for an assist, unfortunately. Oh well, we'll kill these guys for now. Get some experience and some loot. Flavor dialogue for overachieving, underachieving? I haven't paid attention to that. I know you get uh, secret quests sometimes when you overachieve by quite a bit. And you'll just get like a boost of experience points. For um, doing a massive amount. Of overachieving, like killing a certain amount of pirates, and they're 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 always hidden. So, hello, sir. Don't tell me he's about to get ninja again for me. Someone's watching my stream. What level are you? 27. Quite a bit higher than I am. Oh, my trap missed. Challenging me? Yes, I am actually challenging you. Awesome. So someone whispered me. Someone said, "Care for need some help." How do you respond? <clears throat> yeah, the environment in this game is good. I like I like a lot of things about this game. I don't want to make like a final judgment until I hit max level and kind of really start to feel what's up. Wait. Report to advance scout. There we are. Ooh, that's good. We just got a uh 
actually a really awesome enchant thing. Four agility, which is awesome for me. My classes are archery, shadow something, shadow play, and songcraft. Now we gotta make our way all the way back to there. Three on the map. Let's go. I say we climb to the top of one of these mountains again and glide as far as we can. Bards were bleh in Dark Age of Camelot. Yeah, I didn't I didn't play Dark Age of Camelot. I had friends that played it. Friends dads that played it. And all sorts of other stuff. That, that game was very pervasive for people who were looking for an alternative to EverQuest. So they just made this dead end right here? Okay. Is this worth is this game worth buying? Well, it's a free game. It will be a free game. Uh, the only the only reason it would be worth you spending money on right now is if you you have researched this game extensively, and are already like ready to play and want to play, want to help Alpha Test, and um, don't mind buying all the stuff that they basically force you to buy for supporting. Like, um, I know I'm going to be playing this game once it comes out. I want to test it right now. Uh, I want to gain some knowledge about the game and kind of get a feel for it before it comes out. And that's why I went ahead and decided to be a supporter of it. If you have mixed feelings, don't really know yet, all that kind of stuff, um, I would just wait. I just didn't want to wait. First MMO was WoW. Yeah, a lot of people's first MMO was WoW. WoW was the first MMO that I actually got really into. From the day that it came out and started playing, I realized that 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 uh well that WoW was better than most MMOs that I ever played by quite a bit. Much more refined. E even early on, it just the, the engine felt really good. The gameplay felt great. Classes felt good. Yeah, the water in this game is amazing. Yeah, I've been out of the MMO thing for a long time. I've gone and messed around on some private servers and things like that. Played Pandaria for like three weeks and that was it. I really... I'm just kind of, I just kind of got sick of the same old thing, you know. MMOs kind of have become the same thing. Like, World of Warcraft refined it, and they basically are as good as it gets. You have some games that are out, like Final Fantasy XIV, Elder Scrolls Online, Wildstar's coming out, and they're just like, you know, even Guild Wars, which are like, basically, they, they tweak a few things, but not enough to matter. It all feels the same in the end. Just kind of wanting, I've been, I've been wanting a game that's like a lot different. And this game is quite different. I like it. So far. And I'll continue to play it. And see how uh, see how it is in Endgame. Because I, I want to build a boat, man. I want to build a big ship. Gather up the resources and, like, captain a ship. Build a house. Or at least a cabin. Do all that stuff. Stake out a place. Star Wars Galaxy style. Why do I always accidentally dismount? My hot yes, yeah, it's because my my mount key is right next to my freaking map map key. There's a white rose.
Yep, MMOs nowadays feel like they all kind of get blurred together. I just couldn't get into Pandaria. After playing Vanilla, pretty hard. Burning Crusade, very hard. Wrath, hard. Cataclysm, hard. Like, Pandaria was just like... It, it was just, I couldn't do it. It, just, there was, it did not feel like... I had no energy left. This game is different enough, has enough different elements in it that I'm just like, yeah. Yeah, piracy, man. Like, there, there, there are pirates in this game. And if you want to be a pirate, you can be a pirate. Literally, like, be out on the open seas with your ship and cannons and take over trade ships. Kill people on, I mean, there's a criminal system in this game. You can be a criminal if you want to. And a jail system. I mean, there's just enough about this game that, that just is just like... The more I heard about it, the more I was interested, the more I was like, man, I I gotta play this. I gotta play it. You can be a pirate. You can be a criminal. You can kill criminals. World PvP is like the thing. Yeah, world PvP is like going on all the time. Oh, we have to go down there. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that most people aren't going to be criminals in this game because jail time does hurt. But the fact that you can be a criminal, I think, is hilarious. So that's the guy we gotta kill. Black Gravel Captain something. Have I been a part of a jury yet? Nope. Again, I'm just level 24. I just started. I've, this is like my fourth play session of this game. You're absurd. No, you, sir, are absurd. Oh, I killed this guy a while ago. Why is he immune? What's going on? Are you bugged? I think this dude's bugged out. Not anymore, though. Oh, he's going nuts. All right. Cool. Well, now what? This is my grave site where I died earlier. Okay, well, I think I've done, like, all the quests in this area. Like, there's nothing left. Now what do I do? Maybe go all the way up to the main town. I, I, I haven't been in the main town yet. Let's go up there. Jail time makes it to where, like, your playtime turns into jail time, and you either have to serve it or escape. And you can't escape. I just don't know much about it. I don't know much about, like, I don't know. I feel, for those of you who have played WoW, I feel like a, a level 24, you know, like, hunter who's heard about Blackrock Depths and Battlegrounds and all this stuff, but has never actually done it. So, I don't know. I've just heard of it and seen it happen. Oh, look at that. Up here on the horizon.
Yeah, I only heard about this game about three weeks ago. So yeah, fairly recent for me. Apparently a lot of people have heard of it that are kind of in the PvP communities. Because this game has, um, <clears throat> well, it's the end game right now is just a mass load of PvP. So there's some people who have like downloaded the Korean client and played it, downloaded the Russian client and played it because they, they've been out a little bit longer. So we are in a desert town, a desert city. There's a theater down there. This is the first time I've been to, been to this town, this city. I'm looking for quests, and I haven't seen any yet. Merchants. Let's sell some stuff. Okay, what do we need to sell? All this stuff that we're not using. Making sure none of this is an upgrade that I'm throwing away. Mm, some slight side grades. I think I've taken most of the stuff off. There we go. There's Mirage Isle. Maybe I should go get my new... Um, Glider schematic. Archery shadow play occultism. That's what I was first until I, I switched occultism to songcraft because I want to do song stuff. I may go get my new glider design here. So Mirage Isle is basically a, a place where you go get schematics. It's literally like a mirage. And you can like rent cars to like drive around. They're like steampunk vehicles. Are the hotkeys a pain? I haven't set up my hotkeys properly yet. So yeah, Mirage Isle has a touch of a lot of things a lot more modern. Because it's a giant merchant town. It's a giant merchant island. Like it's just a big Yeah. So the reason I'm here is because I want to find a new uh, glider schematic, and apparently it's here. But I don't know my way around here very well. Let's see, let's see. Glider designs, bam, right there. So apparently we're right next to glider designs. Through here probably. Oh, 
Oh, here we are. So these are different glider designs. Look at these. These are like master gliders. Wow. So you need 30 New East Tears. Swift and Silent Glider. What's this one? Dude, go away. I don't have New East Tears, do I? What all currency do I have? Thanks, Koryokin. They are some fancy gliders, yeah. I like this red one. So these are all the same. Equipped with bombs. Yeah, some of these gliders you can attack from. A dive bomb attack. So, these just cost a gold. Oh, they're actually inventory items. I see, I see. So I can only afford one of these right now. Enhanced glider. 50 silver. That's an entire gold. I wonder what the difference is between these. So this is what I'm riding right now. Maybe I'll go ahead and get this one. So it's just a design. So you have to you actually have to craft these. Yeah, I, have, I haven't got my founder glider yet. I don't I don't know where that would be. I did get a, I did get some founder stuff though, like I, I guess like because like I got this like veterans uh, bow and like a, a like basically leveling gear. I need to buy them all. I need to craft them all in order. Wow. What do I get next level? Three thousand or more infamy points turns you into a pirate. I get a new glider next level, like just given to me. So if I just wait till next level, I just like 
get, I get my Founders Glider? Is that what you're saying? I, I'm getting really ambiguous responses. Does anyone who have any idea? Okay, so get to 25 and I get the best one just like given to me? I guess I'll just wait then. Because I'm really close to 25. So what you're saying is there's no reason for me to buy any of these? Because I'll just get one? You gotta realize, I don't know anything about this game. At all. How does the movement and using the abilities feel? Do they feel smooth? Yes. That's the first thing I notice about this game is how easy it is to control your character. And um, how, yeah, I mean, it... it like, I, I use, like, basically World of Warcraft as, like, the, the, the foundation. Like, that game, you can move your character how you want to. It feels great and everything. This feels... just as good. The, animation, the animations feel nice. Um, moving and jumping around feels great. Combat feels great. That was That's the first thing. Like, if, if a game doesn't have a good engine and movement doesn't feel good, I'm not going to play it. I don't care what it has in it. It's got, I mean, that's, that's the first thing that matters to me. Above all else. So there's no reason unless I wanted these pre-25, so like a level 2 could run here and like buy this. I see what you're saying. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to go level. Because I'm close to 25. Very close. This island is awesome. I think while I'm here, I'm going to go take that test, the car for a test drive. Will I start a guild? Yes. Eventually. I'm not really too concerned about a guild right now because I'm only, I'm like leveling and alpha. Once I get some levels under me, I will probably start a guild. Can I climb to the top of that and use my glider? I, I'll just go level. I want to get that next glider. Jump. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll start smooth guild uh, pretty soon here. At least I think that's what I'm gonna call it. Okay, well, I man, I'm not getting any quests here, which is kind of interesting. I, I thought I would get some uh, some quests in town, but I, I've exhausted all my quests here. And I don't really know what else to do. Are you enemies? Wow, you're an enemy, okay. Uh, yeah, if you want to play the game now because it's not out, it's an alpha... You have to basically support them by buying a Founders Pack. Either a beta or an alpha one. And uh, what that does is basically supports the game by, by making you... It makes you purchase a lot of stuff with the game. Which is useful if, you, if you're actually going to play the game. I chose, I chose uh, the Archer class. And then uh, I got my subclasses later on. Yeah, you could buy like a, a beta founders pack for 50 bucks if you want to play in beta. Or you can just wait till the game comes out and it'll be completely free. But if you plan on playing, honestly, it's a good, it'd be a good idea to get a founders pack. Because uh, not only do you get to play early, you get all the stuff, you get a bunch of stuff that you would end up buying anyways if you played the game. Like subscriptions and things like that. Because I plan on subscribing to this game. Oh, here's a judge. There's a trial going on. What is that? I just got some gravel. Throw a stone in a straight line. So there's a trial going on right now. 
What's up, Judge? Archery is the weakest class pre-30. I, I may feel that a little bit. It's fun though. I, I really I mean I enjoy the archery style of class. Yeah, there's a Phoenix Wright trial going on in there. Yeah, those were players, by the way. Except for the judge. The judge was not a player. Someone named Unkillable. So there are absolutely no quests out here. Out here. <laughs> That's interesting. Let's climb. Yeah, I guess the game being an alpha, I'm not, you know, you're, you're not going to expect everything to be complete. Set foot on the lighthouse, and I got some experience. Oh, there are islands out there. No serious crafting yet, no. I don't know what this island is, but I'm going to it. Yeah, this game runs on the Crytek 3 engine, which is an advanced engine. You can you can turn the graphics down quite a bit in the game. But I would probably oh, oh, this region is at a state of war. That probably means I don't want to be here. Why did I mount up? I don't know anything about the factions, so East versus West, I don't know. I am so new to this game. And the water is absolutely gorgeous. I agree. Party Island. Yes. There's a party going on out here. So I just swam all the way out to some random island. Whitecap Isle. All right. I love how there's these are islands. Giant islands. Like this game is like based around water and it's 
one of my favorite things about this game. Because the water looks amazing. that large blood stain Report a crime? I saw blood! 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 Alright, so I just reported some, uh, criminal activity. Some blood out on the ocean. Yeah, something went down right there. I feel not safe. All the sea is PKable, yes. I I'm gathering that. Insert Jaws music? Yeah, seriously. Left the war region. Oh, I feel much safer all of a sudden. I wonder why. Blood for the blood god. Yeah, there's a giant kraken out here somewhere. Apparently north of the middle aisle. Right, right here. So when do you choose your faction in this game? I, I, I'm not even aware of that, honestly. You don't want to meet the Kraken. Yeah, that's what I've heard. You want this game so much? Yeah, me too. That's why I went ahead and supported. Beard emote. How's it going, Grimsley? Oh, we got more people in here. Coakley, Grimsley. It's people I recognize. Okay. I need to level. This is fun and all, but... Oh, man. How deep is this? That's freaky. Oh man, I'm getting that weird feeling, like, that this is really, really deep. Wow. It's, uh, it has, like, continental shelf drop-offs. Drop, drop-offs. There's a quest. What's up? Well, I'm glad I came out here. Jailer Visha? The Isle of Lesbos. Where the famous term lesbian came from. Alright. So. You hate that open water feeling? You scared? Kriparian lifetime. Right. Yeah, Crip's playing. Oh, yeah. So this is like... Oh, we're at the Isle of Penance. Okay, this is like jail town.
Isle of Tacos? Dude, you're making me hungry. <gasps> wait, wait. Can we get up there and like take our glider? I want to do that. Maybe we can't, though. We'll see. Oh, come on. Let me do it. Yes! How far can we get up here? Can we get up there? Can we get up there? No! So close. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I need a better glider! Crap! Oh well. This game is just really pretty. It makes me want to play it. Just walk around and do things. I don't really care what I'm doing sometimes just because I'm just like, hey, this looks great. Kind of like Skyrim. You, you can just like explore in Skyrim and just have a great time not doing anything really. Pirate ship? I can get a pirate ship. I mean, airships are cool too. I don't know. I just don't know anything. I It depends on what, what things cost, when you can get things. I don't even know where to get most of the materials. Airship would be fun. It sounds expensive. Airships are NPCs only. I kind of gathered that. I haven't heard anyone talking about building an airship. If you could build an airship in this game, that would be insane. Their public transportation? Oh, okay. Taxis, yep. Like like the Goblin Zeppelin. And the boats going from Stranglethorn to... Ratchet? Yeah, that's where it went. You can get a race car. That's what I heard. Super end game craft, yeah. There's some fun stuff you can craft. You've been following the game for a long time? Yeah, I, I just re recently discovered this game. I hadn't had the pleasure of even knowing that it existed until about three weeks ago. Maybe a little bit longer. So we did find a quest out on, like, Penance Island. Hopefully this gives some experience, because I want to hit 25. Okay. So what now? Oh, these are daily quests. Oh, okay. My first impression is that it's good. I like it. Yeah, as far as a, a computer that can handle this game, you're, you're probably going to want, like, a decent graphics card to start off with. If you don't have a, a newer computer with a decent graphics card, you probably won't be able to run it very well. You can turn down all the graphics, though.
So these are to negate some infamy points. I have like 12 infamy points. So I don't really know what's up. I don't even know how to get to where it's telling me to get. This town is so huge and like blocked off by walls. Better CPU is worth more than a GPU in Arc Age? Really? Interesting. Well, I guess I'm in decent, decent shape then. Because I'm able to run this on high, but not ultra. With good frames. Because I have a newer CPU, but an older GPU. Is this the storage area? Sure hope so. I got 29 experience. You gotta do three of that? No, I don't wanna do that. Um, so that's what you do to like, undo your crimes, okay. In the release, you'll get 30% more power from your GPU and CPU? Really? If that's true, that's good. It's a very good thing. Okay. Uh, I don't know where to go now. Because I did all the quests here and I got no new ones. And I don't know what to do. Letter Koryokin. The mount is a little er erratic. Yeah, I don't know where to go. We should go somewhere. We'll see what we'll see what we find. So optimizations are coming. That's good. Graphic and translation optimizations. I feel good about that. Yeah, my FPS is jumping because, again, this, this game is taxing my computer a bit. I'm guessing it's because my graphics card is bottlenecking it. Because my graphics card, again, is um, three generations old. It's a 460, and there's like 780s out now and stuff. Yeah, this game is very pretty. I'm out in the middle of nowhere. It's just terrain. The edge of the world is visible.
I haven't found any harvestable materials lately. Yeah, I tried turning everything up to ultra settings, and my frames just dropped by about 33%. Maybe a little bit more, even. It was pretty, but it was like a little bit more of a slideshow. Dude. Yeah, I really don't know where to go, honestly. I have no idea. Because I, I, I went there, and that was just it. Maybe I did something um, wrong with the quest. Maybe I missed a quest somewhere. I don't know. But I'm level 24, and I have done all the quests that it led me to. <laughs> Except for, like, the crafting ones. Server-wide scarcity? Yeah, I, I think that's kind of cool. That you have to, you have to like, plant your own trees or, like, go find trees that have been planted. I need to have DirectX 9 on and Vertical Sync off. Well, let's check it out. DirectX 9, vertical sync off. Good. We're there. Oh no. This is a great place to dance, right here. <laughs> I'll be back in a sec, guys. My dude, 
I think he's dancing in the most epic place right now. He's a man. Give Mr. Chair money. Is this Mr. Chair? I have not composed any music yet. I don't know where I can quest next. That's why I'm up on this mountain dancing because I'm not sure what to do now. Is it glide time? Too bad you can't get experience for dancing, I know. I'd be leveling up right now. Okay, let's see. I started off like here, went here. Maybe I need to go here next. I don't think I've been here. Or here. Let's go there. Good call looking at the map. <laughs> Arkham Iris? I don't think I've been there either. I kind of want to go to a place that is, you know, kind of my level. What do you think, guys? Should we head to Arkham Iris down south or Villanelle of north? What do you guys think? I'll leave it up to you guys. You guys decide the fate of Charles. Villanelle? All right, sounds good, let's do it. Well, you know what this calls for. This calls for Glider Town. Let's see, we wanna head that way. So let's do it. Let's take a trip. Gotta admit, man, this feels amazing. Playing this game for two years now? Levion? Are you serious? You've been playing this game like since like Korean beta? If so, I'm impressed. You need to get in contact with me and teach me some stuff. <laughs> Dude, this is epic glider town. Oh, south is the starting area for the other race. <clears throat> I see. I believe I can fly. I believe Char can touch the sky. He dreams about it every single day. And during the nights he cries. I lost, I lost the lyrics, guys. Lost it. I like how the textures, like, dynamically go down. Oh, wow. So we got some trees down there. 
How far did we go? Hmm, pretty far. Yeah, that's that's some serious arm and core strength right there. Look at that. That's powerful. What's going on, man? You enjoying this? I hope so. Fantasy Star Online 2? No, I'm not interested in that. I uh, tried out the, the Japanese version or whatever. And, uh, hallways. That's all I have to say. Just a bunch of hallways. Gear grind. A gear grind with hallways. And uh, I'm kind of done with uh, gear grinds with, you know, I don't know. I just, this game is a lot more, a lot cooler than hallways with gear grinds. And that's it. That was three minutes. I'm pretty much only interested in MMOs that push what has been already been done. Like, I'm not interested in MMOs that are, like, doing the same thing. Even if they claim to do it better, it's just, it's not interesting to me. I want to do cool stuff. I want to do, like, things like Be a Pirate. And glide over mountain, glide off mountains, and you know, kill criminals or be a criminal or whatever. I want to do. I want to do cool stuff. I want to build a castle in the game, not in an instance portal that's connected to the game. I want to do cool things. Okay, we're heading to Villanelle. It looks like we can get it, get to it from this road. Yeah, I tried Fantasy Star 2 online, and um, Fantasy Star Online was cool back when it was out because that was it was new stuff, you know. But like Fantasy Star Online 2 is just like prettier, with improvements on art, what what has already been done. And just like Final Fantasy 14, it was great, but it was the same thing. I just I didn't want to do, I don't want to do the same thing over and over again. It drives me nuts. I did that in WoW until like I I couldn't do it anymore, until I was finally just like I can't can't do this anymore. <laughs> Even playing on old school private servers out of nostalgia, I, I, it's fun, but just doesn't doesn't hold my interest. Got I want to do cool stuff, new things. Ooh, there's quests. We're already hitting quests. Awesome. Okay, now we're we know we're going in the right direction. Yeah, Fantasy Star Online was very cool on the Dreamcast. If you backflip, it negates your damage. Wow. Hello, smuggler. Nice mask, dude. Something to be delivered without anyone noticing. Okay, so we got quests. That means experience points, and that means I'm excited. Let's do it. Eat death, tiger. Oh, did he go far away from me? Not this guy, though. Backflips OP. Yeah, let's do it. I haven't done it in a while. Boom. I haven't had a reason to use that. I don't even have a hotkey to anything useful. I don't have anything hotkeyed. I'm just still using 4, 3, 2, and 1. Pretty lame. I should fix that. Black Desert? Yeah, I think that's the game with, like, fantastic combat and amazing graphics. 
but not a sandbox. Just a combat simulator. Like Dark Souls Online or something, I don't know. Which would be fun to play, but not for that long for me. Maybe for a few weeks. Hmm, someone's saying that Black Desert is a sandbox. These guys die in like four hits. I almost don't even have to use... Now what? I need some tiger leather. Those guys weren't giving me leather? That's kind of weird. Or were they? Okay, those guys are giving me... Maybe I'm not paying attention. I don't know. Wild Star? No, I don't want Wild Star. I don't want a slightly improved WoW. I want a, I want a quite different game. Fantasy Star 14, or Fantasy Star. Final Fantasy 14 to me was like a prettier version of WoW. Elder Scrolls Online turned out to be just like a different, I mean, all these games just have slight, slight changes on, on the status quo. I want a game that's a lot different than the status quo. Like this, this is quite different than the status quo. A lot more exciting to me. If I want to play a game like WoW, I'll play WoW. I guess if you're just getting into MMOs, it'd probably be good to play Wildstar or whatever else. I mean, I just... For someone who's played it for as long... Played games, especially MMOs, for as long as I have, I just want something fun. want something different. Cool, all right, let's go turn all this stuff in. Yeah, I looked at Wildstar for a while, and I was like, oh, okay, this this will be interesting. Let's see what it is. And then I realized what it was. It was just kind of like a mixture between Guild Wars, Combat, and World of Warcraft. So, I don't know. I, I played a little bit of Guild Wars, and it, 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 I, enough to realize that I shouldn't have pre-ordered it. Because I wasn't going to play it for that long. Okay, now they're leading us up toward that that new area. <clears throat> yeah, I don't doubt that I'd have fun with Wildstar, just like I would have fun with, with WoW for like, you know, maybe a month. Maybe a little bit less. But it, it, it just, if there's nothing cool to do in the game besides just like, you know, one or two elements of improved things that I, I've already experienced over and over again, then it's not going to hold my interest. I've learned this over the past year or two. Who are you? Level 36. Oh, hello. What are you? Oh, crap. That's awesome. That is a giant treant. Oh, that's Levian. How's it going, man? Dude, look at this thing. So these level 30 bosses are just everywhere. Better don't engage. Yeah, I will not. That's fun, though. I like the fact that these guys are in the game. Yeah, I I know. I, I kited around a boss early, like my, my first plate... Uh, first t first night playing this game, maybe it was second night, and then like last time I played, I attempted to kite around a level 30 boss. It didn't work out so well because he had a ranged attack. Ooh, 
These are buffaloes that I killed earlier. Speed buff. Oh, we have a feel. Oh, what? What? Crazed worker. Hello. Who are you? Got some experience, that's cool. There you are. Mm. Five, okay, so now, find stolen sacreds. Gotta find some flame orbs, apparently. And report to Nasai. Okay. Okay, so we gotta kill some thieves. Let's do it. Got one. Oh, he one-shot him. Wow. So if you're 36, you one-shot 18s that are exactly half your level. I think he just crit for 3,000. Which is like as much health as I have. So he could, he could pretty much one-shot me. We did it! Overachieve a little bit. We want to hit 25 and get a glider, a better one. Man, I had high hopes for Elder Scrolls Online. I've talked about this a lot. I really love the extra progress thing in this game. I guess that's it. Let's go turn it in. La da da da, la da da da, da 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 da, do do do. do. Archage Bard Acapella. Hmm. All right. Now what? Collect the tears. Could not loot these guys. 
So where are the tears? Oh, here they are. They're in here. Yeah, I agree with you, Grimsley. Very unattractive in a game. Let's go. I'm getting small chunks of experience because these are these are lower level quests. I don't mind. They're very fast quests. Will I multi-box the musicians? That would be fun. Ooh, nice. That was a big chunk of experience. Okay. I'm going to follow you because you know what you're doing. Oh, blah, 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 blah. What is that? What are you? What are you? Oh, okay. This is like farm town. Job called composition. Yes, I do know about the composition, and it, it it pumps me up because that's one that's one of the reasons why I'm playing this game is because this game potentially has the best music system of any game I've ever played, and that's exciting. Okay, man, this is cool. People plant these are all things that people have planted. Look at these. Like, these are all player farms. Is that not exciting? Like, to have actual player farms, player housing, all that kind of stuff in a game. That's awesome. Okay. I need to raise my KPM. You talking about kills per minute? What is that? Some type of metric? He marked the map. You can mark. That's awesome. That's actually extremely helpful. Did I play Lotro? Yes, it had a great music system. I've talked about that before, about how in Lotro, I never got above level 24. I think it was my highest character. And I never got above that level because all I did was play music. I had a MIDI keyboard hooked up to my computer. And I would just stand around in Bree and Hobbiton and just play music to people, with people, at people. And it was freaking fun. And, and I, I see myself doing the same thing in this game. Just like only doing composition. Yeah, Lotro, I was, I was into that. Never hit max level on Lotro for any, any of the expansions. And we're in a new area. What is this stuff? Okay, yeah, we're in, we're in an area that's our level now. That's good.
Yeah, I'll tell you this. Once I get to like max level in Arc Age, or maybe even before that, when I start composition, this this stream is going to be quite music heavy. I can promise that. As far as Arc Age goes, if the composition system is as cool as I think it is. All right, we're gonna go kill some buffaloes. This buffalo. Okay, he's mad at me. Oh, hit my microphone. The microphone's bigger than my old one. So it, uh, I, I bump it quite a bit. In fact, I should probably do that. How about that? Is it, does it sound the same? Should sound the same. Do we kill any buffaloes or just buffalo wrestlers? Oh, just wrestlers? Okay. Are you killing that many things? Dude, did you see that AoE? What is this skill even? What does this skill do? Endless arrows. That's awesome. You just hold it down. Let's see. You just hold it down. What a fun skill. See, this game's awesome because, like, for a musician like me, all, all I have to do is, like, you know, you don't, even have to, you don't even have to pay for the game. You just, like, roll a, comp roll a composition skill and have some freaking fun playing music. And I guess if you want to, like, have housing and stuff, you can, but you don't need to. You just play music, write music. You can level your character up, apparently, by just, by just composing music and gathering materials for, for composing music, I think that's amazing. I would, I would like to try that. Charles is a mount, yes, and he does have attack capabilities, but he's, a, he's kind of like a low-level one, if you want to call it that. Where are these buffalo rustlers that we're trying to kill? Buffalo thieves? Where are the, where are the rustlers? Like, I don't put bridles on... Oh, okay. So we need to be. We need to be. Oh, that's what we need. Okay. So you put a you, you put a bridle on a buffalo, and then a rustler comes out. I see what's up. Hidden quest. I love that. That rules. See, we killed a bunch of buffalo thieves, and then all of a sudden, a hidden quest pops up. Saying that we did good. Yeah, we should start a band. Like, I, I'm going to start a guild in this game. And then because the music system in this game is so rich. What? We get a quest launcher. We'll play music together, guys. That's what we'll do in this game. Diseased Buffalo. This is so wowish. The combat is definitely wowish, which I don't mind, because there's a lot more to this game than just the uh, the combat. How about we bridle you? Oh, nice glider, dude. I'm just gonna do this.
Make it traveling band. Yeah, I picked Songcraft uh, as my third skill because it, it's music oriented. I haven't used anything in it yet. Go turn this in. Tra go around traveling, making music. Yep. Awesome. We're making progress with the help of this guy. See that cheer emote? I want to harvest some stuff. Oh, now what? Where are you, butcher? There you are. All right, so apparently we're going to fillet up some dead buffaloes. That's gross. We just slaughtered a dead buffalo. Tabby striped calico. Striped. So we just got a pet. Okay, so we want, we don't want to release it until we can feed it, apparently, because it will die. <laughs> but we got a new battle pet, a kitty, a striped kitty. Better than slaughtering live buffaloes? Woo, they're alive. That was definitely alive. It was just diseased. Kind of gross that they want to eat diseased meat. Okay, we're heading north. I see more player farms. I see Charlie emotes. Oh, I see like Chinese architecture up there. Or is that Japanese? They're very similar, aren't they? Snow meow. Okay, now we're going even further north. More player farms. Birds. Oh, look at this view.
Awesome. Loot. You just jammed. So this is a quest that involves loots. Okay, so now we have to do something. I'm not sure. Where are you, Charles? Charles, I want to ride Charles. Let's go. We have to go back up this way. Loot. Do we want to ignore these things for now? And follow this guy. Here we are. Oh, a musician. I like how we were talking about music and then we stumble, stumble upon a, a loot quest. Okay. What? It's a lute, not a banjo. A little bit different. Older. Build a mine. Archer Shadow Play Songcraft. Oh, the NPC looked like she had a banjo. Yeah, it, it was like uh, it looked like uh, a little different than a banjo. It was more Asian looking. Some sort of ancient Asian stringed instrument. I can't play the loot on them. Uh, my, my loot quest is done. That's why I can't play the loot on them. Get 
to pick a weapon. I don't think we're going to find one better than the one we're using. Yeah, it's, it's like an Asian looking banjo, like fancier. It's got the decorative stuff on it. Dig up the century old loot. Got it. Now I gotta go bring the loot to someone. We're almost 25, guys. Almost big enough for a new glider. How far can we fall? That far? We're fine. We're a cat. So we dug a loot out of the ground that was like 100 years old. Report to Butcher Groma. Dude, this is a pretty section of the game. Look at this. That's awesome. It is very Japanese looking. There we are. So close to 25. Alright, so we gotta go kill some pirates. I think we're being introduced to the crime section of the game. Ooh, look at this. got a lot of quests. What is that? A sea bug? Yeah, Japanese architecture looks nice. Alright, so we have a lot of quests to do. Tagged it first. These dudes look, 